Okay, so tonight's dinner is going to be, and I'll show you in a second when I go over there to have my water going, for um, spaghetti and chicken with Alfredo sauce. So it's very simple. I'm not doing anything really homemade. It's just going to be spaghetti, two jars of the Alfredo sauce, and some chicken. We cut it from a rotisserie chicken that I am defrosting in the sink right now. So I'll show you everything, and then spices and all that stuff. So I have my water over here almost boiling for my spaghetti. And then coming over to the sink, I have my bag of cooked rotisserie chicken defrosting and it's, it'll be good in a few minutes. And then I have these, I'm gonna make two of these spaghettis I got in a Sam's pack. And these two creamy Alfredo sauce I'm gonna use. And then I need to get some salt and pepper and some seasonings and then see what vegetable I'm gonna have with it. Don't forget to salt your water. Heat up my chicken a bit. I'm just going to melt some real butter in my skillet and just heat it up a little bit. So my butter is all melted. So I'm just gonna put my chicken in there just to heat it up until it's heated through because it's already cooked. But I want to have hot pasta with cold spaghetti. And it's a little frozen. For our garlic powder and Italian. the jar about a third of the way with water so I can get more of the sauce out. So for tonight's dinner, I am just going to be making a simple beef stew, but I'm not using beef stew meat. I am just going to be using ground beef, and I'm going to make it in my Dutch oven. So I'm just going to use potatoes, carrots, I think some corn. We have corn this time. And beef broth from bouillon cubes and potatoes, carrots, yeah, and then rice. So I'll show you what I have. So now I have my, I'm gonna peel my potatoes and then cut them. I had to cut off some bad parts, but we're gonna make it work. I'm not going to waste them, so that'll be good.
Heat up my Dutch oven and throw some olive oil in here and then start cooking my potatoes while I cut my carrots. Why is it so crunchy? And then I'm just gonna put some, excuse me, salt and pepper. And then drop it all over the stove, of course. That's new. So right now I'm just making some beef broth with my bouillon cubes. And then I'm going to add a can of corn to my stew over here. And then we still need to make some rice. I'm just gonna make some rice. Welcome to my channel. I'm Yuga Han. Stop. I make terrible videos. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awful. Okay, so I don't know how I forgot, but I forgot the meat. I'm like, that doesn't look right. So, anyway. I'm using ground beef. I mean, this isn't. You're dumb. Thanks. It's so nice. I had a dick sometimes. Right. Now it's almost done. And I did add some cornstarch and I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay. Now it looks better with the meat, for sure. Hi, so tonight for dinner I'm going to be making lasagna and it's just with the oven ready lasagna noodles and I'll show you everything that I will be using. I have to get my cheese out still, so there's that. Okay, so I have my box of oven ready lasagna noodles. I have two of these um, tomato sauces and I'm going to use, it's, this is, it says oregano, I think it's Italian, and garlic which I need to fill up. Salt and pepper always. This is probably about a pound or so of ground beef already cooked. And I have some cheese I need to shred and then some cottage cheese. I'm gonna make this very simple. I already, let's see, I already, um, where's it at? Hold on a minute. I already greased this casserole dish. So first thing I'm gonna do is put my meat and sauce and spices into this bowl. And then next thing I'm gonna do is get a new stupid battery. Oh, 
Oh, that just splashed at me. I should get a bigger spoon. And put some salt, pepper, Italian, it says oregano. And then I need to fill up my garlic powder. So, oh, this is granulated garlic. I'm going to use this one. Okay, now I just need to shred my cheese. I need to get the cheese grater out of the dishwasher. Make sure that was good to go. I'm not using all this for lasagna, but anyway, I have my oven preheating right now to 375. I'm just going to put my cottage cheese in here and add a little bit of the cheese to it and mix it around before using that. I need another spoon. Sometimes I add an egg. I'm not going to. I'm going to make it very simple. Now I'm just going to start layering it, starting with some of the um, sauce, saucy meat on the bottom. I'm already making a mess. Not a lot, just a little bit on the bottom. When I'm done layering all this, I'm just going to wrap it loosely with foil and put it in my 375 degree preheated oven for approximately 40-ish minutes. We'll have to see how long it takes. 45, you know, we'll see. Looks like it's not enough, but it always turns out enough. It does. It looks like not enough. But it does turn out enough for sure. Hopefully my arm wasn't entire in front of the video the whole entire time. Idiot. Mm -hmm. 
Now in the oven, I'm about ready to get it out. It looks really good and you can hear it. Okay, so this was 40 minutes with the top on and then about 10 minutes without it covered. And I'm gonna call it done. Because we're ready to eat. This is not going to be cut even at all, but oh well. It is what it is.